Hey guys, it's Dan, your host of Dan's Reviews, and today I'm back for another Walking Dead video for today. This is going to be discussing the Reapers and the Leah character after the events of Episode 8 and after her turning on Daryl. This one has been highly discussed about possibly Leah being our main villain for 11B of the Walking Dead, why I'm against it, and why I would rather see the Reapers wrapped up as quickly as possible. <laughs> Okay guys, so it's going to be doing another video for today. This one's going to be doing another Walking Dead video for today. This one's going to be doing another video for The Walking Dead Season 11. This one is leading up to 11B of The Walking Dead. Another discussion topic video for today. So, uh, this one is going to be talking about Leah. Because we have not talked about that character since the end of Season 8, uh, or Episode 8 of The Walking Dead Season 11. And that character is all over the place, where we left her. All over the place. And with all the fear videos and all the other stuff, Stuff. I really wanted to get into this topic at some point, so I'm deciding to make that time now. What is going to happen with the Leah character when we return? Because the way that they set things up at the end of episode eight, the way that they kind of, you know, demonstrated it is that she is our main threat going into the next half, which I have mixed feelings about. On one hand, I don't mind it because I think she's a better freaking villain than Pope already. Um, but I will say this. I really, really hope, and this is the concern that I have, is that they don't interrupt the Commonwealth too much. Because this is one thing about 11A. You know, I've said this basically from the jump. I like 11A. I really like the season. I think it's been really good, except for, you know, Pope and, you know, minor things here and there. Um, but definitely the Reapers as a storyline. Let's address the elephant in the room. They are there so we can, you know, fill out time until the Commonwealth is ready to go full force. Now, you may say, well, Dan... We've already seen a lot of the Commonwealth. We've met Lance. We've met Mercer. Trust me, if you read the comics, you'll know we have not gotten full force into the Commonwealth yet. We are just, you know, little little footsteps, you know, here and there. Um, but we are not fully in it. Why? Because the Reapers are still around, which is bringing up my next point. Leah is going to be our main villain when we come back in episode nine. We can tell from the trailers, we can tell, you know, Carver's still out there going after some of our survivors, and uh, obviously, you know, Daryl and the others are going to have to take them down somehow. But the thing is, guys, how long will she last? Because to me, I look at Leah as someone that should be dead within a couple episodes back into this, you know, next part of the season. I know that some people have said that, you know, she's probably going to last until like the very end. Like maybe Daryl will, you know, kill Leah in episode 16 or something, but episode 16 guys that's a long time to still have leah as the villain i say this and this is where i stand with it at the very latest episode 12 okay i'll say it like that i don't think that this group should be going for uh, further than episode 12 hell i'm trying to be nice going with episode 12 i felt and i still feel that the reapers should go in episode 9 episode 9 should be their end make it a big final battle big episode you start at eight and you finish it nine when you come back it you know kind of reminds me of something like start to finish in no way out you know you start something and it continues in the next episode and it's just epic as all hell and you end it there and then episode 10 you get into the pamela character and you go full speed ahead with the commonwealth you know because scott gimple even confirmed that the commonwealth and crm are aware of each other and know each other so then it begs to question, okay, well, we're going to have to deal with that a lot. And we only have 16 episodes of The Walking Dead. That might sound a lot to you guys, but believe me, it's going to fly by quick. 16 episodes and you want to develop the CRM and Commonwealth's knowledge together, develop Pamela, do the all the stuff from the comics and develop Sebastian and, you know, have all this stuff. 16 episodes is even kind of short for that, but it looks like they're going to try it either way. I don't want the Reapers interrupting that storyline more because we only have 16 episodes. That's why I wish that Leah would just be a full villain in episode 9 and that she would die in episode 9. Because honestly, I think that if they keep uh, keep the Reapers around until, like a lot of people are saying, like episodes like 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, like you're not going to have time to do anything else. You're going to have like 8 episodes to only strictly focus on the Commonwealth and this and that. 
This is the ending of a show. If there was a 12th season, I wouldn't care. But this is ending. The clock is ticking, if you will. And that's the main thing. So I don't think that Leah is going to be a bad villain. I actually think she's been set up in a decent way here. And I think that it's going to be a pretty sad storyline to see probably Daryl have to put her down at some point. Um, but like I said, I just hope that by episode 12, at the very least, episode 12, we are fully focused in and centered around the Commonwealth storyline. Because if we are still dealing with Leah out there and Carver and all, it's like, honestly, at that point, it's going to feel a little weird. And I say episode 12, because that's the halfway mark of the series, uh, series, you know, final season, right? So hopefully by then we'll be focused in on the Commonwealth. But again, we'll have to see, you know, because Pamela's on her way. I feel like Leah should be going in episode nine the furthest episode 12, but that's pushing it. So I am not going to say she's the main villain of 11B. I think she'll be the main villain to start. And then if they, if they're smart and if they, if they know what's best for them, I would say kill off Leah rather quickly because we got to get into the Commonwealth. And honestly, I don't want them to drag this storyline out. You know, Pope is dead. We shouldn't have to drag out this Leah stuff any longer than an episode, two episodes, three episodes, you know, at most, you know, something like that. Because for the most part, we should be centered in on what's going on at Commonwealth. Because a lot of 11A was like, oh, well, you know, we got some Commonwealth. And then, oh, wait, we got to go back and focus on Super Mario for a second, you know focus in on that storyline when we return i i would really appreciate that and honestly it would make me respect the final season a lot more if they got rid of the reapers rather quickly in the back half because we got to get into this commonwealth storyline so anyway let me know where you guys stand on it what do you guys think about leah and going forward and her being the main villain i say no but let me know where you guys stand on it and uh you know any kind of fears about well, how they could handle this or, you know, optimism because you think they're going to do this very well, definitely let me know in the comment section below. So, of course, guys, if you're new here, click to subscribe and you don't miss some of my videos for The Walking Dead. Follow Dennis Walking Dead, YouTube, Instagram, guys. And, of course, I'll see you guys really soon for another Walking Dead video. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys, and peace out. Everybody out there.